Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome to the lecture on Rand's equations. So, Rand's is uh, Reynolds averaged uh, Navier stroke equations. So, this equation we are going to particularly discuss uh, because uh, when we deal with the turbulent flow. So, as we know that in the case of turbulent flow, you have uh, the uh, mean component and uh, also at the same time you have the fluctuating component. Now, the uh, presence of these uh, fluctuating components, uh, they give rise to extra set of uh, terms uh, when we deal with uh, you know or, or when we talk about the uh, momentum uh, you know uh, conservation equations or momentum equations. So, uh, in this lecture we are going to see that how uh, you know when we talk about uh, the uh, turbulent flow. So, what are those additional terms which are coming and then uh, that is why the, that uh, uh, you know. Uh, so, we are averaging uh, there are uh, averaging uh, principles, averaging rules are there because of that uh, certain uh, extra terms are coming. So, how then these Navier stroke equations uh, uh, you know uh, change. So, that we will see here and that is why they are known as the Reynolds averaged uh, Navier stroke equations. So, uh, if you uh, you know if you talk about the uh, fluctuating uh, parts of the velocity. So, what happens that because of that uh, you will have the uh, fluid layers which will be experienced the additional uh, turbulent shear stress that is known as the Reynolds stress. So, you can understand it like uh, what happens that when you have uh, these uh, fluctuating parts or you have uh, uh, you know if you take the turbulent uh, shear type of uh, uh, flow. So, in those uh, cases if you try to see the uh, you know uh, the uh, velocity gradient in case of turbulent uh, shear flow. So, you will have the velocity gradient uh, like this. So, uh, you know you have the velocity gradient in the y direction. So, there is a gradient in the velocity and if you talk about if you consider the a uh, control volume. So, what happens due to these fluctuations? Uh, so, what happens you will have the formation of eddies and these uh, eddies uh, you know on the boundaries they will be looking like this. So, they will be moving like this. So, you will have increase in the y velocity in, in this direction and decrease in the you know, y velocity uh, on this side. So, uh, so this way uh, the due to these eddies. So, in this side you have the fluctuating component will be more than 0 and in this side your uh, fluctuating component will be less than 0. So, this is the uh, velocity fluctuation due to the uh, eddy formation and you will have the turbulent eddies at uh, many places which will be uh, you know going on. So, uh, so what happens or, or if you talk about uh, this surface suppose, so you will have uh, again the eddies uh, you know moving in this fashion. So, you will have on this side v prime is less than 0 and this will be v prime uh, more than 0. So, actually uh, what is happening now in this case what you see. So, these are the you know these are the turbulent eddies and these eddies are responsible for uh, creating very strong mixing you know uh, inside. Uh, so, uh, and uh, they are responsible also uh, for the momentum exchange due to the convectum, uh, convective transport. So, these are done by these eddies and which will be causing the uh, faster fluid layers to be decelerated and slower moving uh, layers to be accelerated. So, the faster moving layer which is their top. So, it will be uh, you know there will be a breaking effect on that. So, that will be uh, subjected to some deceleration and the slower moving layers will be there which will be subjected to some acceleration. 
So, you know, uh, so that happens, uh, you know, to the velocity component and even that is uh, happening in the presence of these temperature or uh, concentration gradients also. So, uh, these eddy motions will generate the turbulent heat or species concentration fluxes. So, uh, basically uh, as you see that uh, uh, you know uh, you can you we have seen that this is uh, along the turbulent uh, you know this uh, control volume boundaries there will be uh, you can see the uh, eddies how they are going out or uh, you know uh, inside. So, they will be uh, you know across that uh, control volume boundaries they will be uh, transport. Now, these things basically these uh, so what happens that they will have the generate there will be generation of additional you know uh, shear component and uh, uh, you will have the additional uh, shear stresses will be generated and this would due to this turbulent and that is why they are the turbulent shear stresses and these shear stresses are known as the uh, Reynolds stresses and uh, uh, you know and there are many more uh, you know uh, uh, we will see that how these fluctuating components. So, uh, these uh, uh, you know presence of these Reynolds stresses uh, they need to be accounted when we deal with the uh, you know conservation, uh, conservation equations uh, especially the momentum um, equation or even the uh, continuity equation. So, we need to see that and uh, these extra terms uh, will be coming into the Navier-Stokes equations and, and they will be calling as uh, the Reynolds averaged uh, Navier-Stokes equation because what happens that the velocity will have two component one will be mean component another will be the fluctuating component. So, uh, ultimately uh, when you are uh, going to have the momentum equations. So, you will have uh, uh, certain components coming into additionally you know uh, uh, you know because of these uh, fluctuating uh, parts. So, uh, we will be talking about uh, these uh, uh, you know Reynolds averaged uh, you know Navier Stokes equations. Now, before that uh, we must uh, you know we know that uh, if you uh, talk about the uh, you know uh, fluctuation uh, uh, component. So, you will have uh, uh, you know so it is average if you talk about the fluctuating uh, part only. So, uh, it is uh, the, we have to consider the certain uh, you know uh, uh, points that if you talk about the uh, you know fluctuating part and if you take the average of this. So, your uh, average of the fluctuating uh, properties. So, uh, so that will be uh, so for the fluctuating part it has to be taken as uh, uh, 0. So, if you take another property like psi. So, for that also if you take the average of the uh, fluctuating component it has to be uh, it is taken as uh, 0. So, the as we know that uh, you had the components. So, you have the mean and then you have the uh, uh, fluctuations. So, so if you take the average of this uh, on the on the time scale. So, it will be taken as 0 because you have the fluctuations above as well as the uh, below. So, you will have uh, uh, this part we will be uh, taking uh, summation derivative that we are taking as uh, 0. If you talk about uh, uh, the uh, other uh, things like uh, if you have the del psi upon uh, del s and if you take the uh, average. So, that will be uh, uh, nothing but del of uh, phi by del s. So, uh, so that way uh, we uh, take it uh, as uh, uh, these values. So, that will be uh, mean part uh, and uh, then uh, you have uh, uh, similarly if you have the uh, part like uh, you know this plus this. So, uh, its mean will be uh, you know um, uh, so you are taking the its mean plus uh, you know the mean separated. So, there are certain uh, you know properties uh, uh, which we will uh, be using it uh, while uh, we discuss about it and similarly uh, you will have uh, you know. Uh, so, basically uh, you need to know certain uh, when we do the time averaging. So, at that time that uh, we will need to use like if you have the uh, two properties and you are taking the average of uh, uh, this uh, product. So, it will be uh, phi psi plus uh, uh, phi psi sorry, 
phi prime psi prime. So, uh, it, it, it's average. So, because it's not going to be uh, equal to zero, you can have other uh, component also where. Uh, one uh, one of the uh, properties mean will be taken fluctuating parts uh, mean will be taken so that will be anyway automatically zero so uh, these are the you know um, uh, um, concepts which are to be uh, used for uh, that now uh, if you uh, go to the uh, other properties like uh, so that is known as the cumulative uh, uh, i mean commu commutative property now uh, for any you know fluctuating vector quantity a which is uh, taken as its uh, mean part and also its uh, you know uh, fluctuating part a prime so uh, similarly uh, you take as uh, the uh, you have one a scalar fluctuating scalar and this will be uh, taken as the uh, mean part plus the um, you know fluctuating part of uh, this scalar quantity. So, uh, what happens that if you take the uh, dive of A, so its uh, mean will be uh, dive of A. So, this will be its uh, mean part and this is the fluctuating part. So, if you take the dive, so this part uh, will be anyway uh, 0 because as we have seen that uh, its uh, change uh, you know with time will be uh, or with any you know if you do averaging it will be 0. Similarly, if you take uh, dive of psi a, so uh, it will be uh, dive of uh, phi a, so that is its uh, mean parts uh, product and then it will be dive of uh, psi prime a prime and its mean. So, so that way uh, you know uh, these uh, also need to be uh, you know uh, kept in mind uh, to us. So, similarly dive of uh, grad psi. So, and, and it is uh, whole uh, you know mean it is averaging that will be giving us uh, dive of grad you know mean part. So, basically this is the mean part. So, we are taking having the mean part. So, that is uh, you know uh, so because when we use these uh, you know equations when we are going to uh, take the uh, you know any uh, uh, quantity as the summation of the mean quantity and the fluctuating part. So, at that time these uh, you know expressions will be uh, required. Now, if you uh, try to see the you know uh, the Navier-Stokes equation. So, if you uh, try to find the uh, instantaneous you know Navier-Stokes uh, instantaneous continuity as well as the uh, Navier-Stokes equation for uh, uh, you know vector u. So, in that case uh, your uh, equation becomes dive of this is uh, u that will be uh, 0. Similarly, uh, you will have this is your instantaneous uh, you know continuity equation. Similarly, you will have uh, Navier Stoke equation that we have already seen it will be dou u by dou t plus uh, you know dive of uh, u u and this is uh, uh, this is uh, this is basically uh, bold one so bold one means this will be uh, sum of uh, the two quantities one is mean quantity as well as one is the fluctuating part so dive of u u that will be uh, you know minus minus of 1 by rho dou p by dou x plus nu of uh, dive grad u so uh, so that way uh, you know uh, uh, what we see. So, uh, this is your uh, uh, x momentum equation that is uh, what you uh, get uh, you know uh, this x component uh, equation. Similarly, you have the uh, you know y component and z component. So, you will have uh, dou v by dou t plus uh, dive of v and u. So, this will be again the uh, bold one and that will be minus 1 by rho uh, dou p by dou y plus nu and then uh, dive uh, and uh, grad of uh, you know u v. So, that time it will be v. So, uh, then uh, similarly if you take the uh, w momentum equation. So, that will be w w by dou w by dou t plus dive of uh, w u. So, this is again uh, uh, bold one. So, that will be minus of 1 by rho dou p by uh, dou z plus nu of uh, dive of uh, uh, grad w. So, that way uh, you know uh, we uh, 
uh, use these are these are the instantaneous you know this is the instantaneous uh, continuous equation and this is the uh, navier stroke equation these are the navier stroke equations you know uh, in the uh, cartesian uh, coordinate system so that the you know, velocity vector u that is this is the you know, u it has uh, uh, three components uh, u v and w so this u has three components uh, that u v and w and in that case your uh, this will be your instantaneous uh, those uh, equations now now when we talk about the uh, turbulent flow so in that you will have uh, the uh, mean component as well as the uh, fluctuating component so uh, when we talk about uh, uh, these variables so what will happen you will have the renold uh, decomposition so in that uh, what is done is uh, this uh, u as you see so u will have uh, the component u v and w and also it will have the uh, you know fluctuating component so u will be the mean component plus this is the uh, fluctuating component similarly uh, its uh, u com uh, x component is u so that will be mean u plus fluctuating u uh, that is u prime uh, v will be uh, you know mean v plus uh, fluctuating v uh, that is v prime so that way uh, you have to uh, take these uh, you know uh, components uh, taken into to, uh, taken together now uh, we have to use the time averaging and then uh, we have to apply those uh, rules so if you uh, go for the uh, continuity equation for the uh, mean flow so continuity equation if you uh, uh, find and especially for the incompressible flow so in those case uh, what is happening uh, your uh, dive of uh, this u prime will be uh, basically zero so ultimately your uh, uh, equation of continuity for the mean flow becomes dive of uh, u equal to zero so dive u equal to zero that uh, means that dive of uh, uh, u equal to zero so this is giving you the uh, continuity equation for the uh, mean flow now we have to find the uh, equation for uh, the the x momentum y momentum and the uh, z momentum uh, you know and uh, we have to do the time averaging of the uh, individual uh, terms so uh, if you uh, do some homework what we see that if you find the do u by do t so as you know that uh, u will be capital u plus u prime so it will be basically capital u by dot t because u prime do u prime by dot t will be zero so that will be uh, one similarly if you uh, find the uh, dive of u and uh, this uh, uh, you know uh, u and that is uh, uh, you know uh, averaging of this so it will be um, dive of uh, uh, capital u and this will be uh, you know uh, uh, bold bold one and uh, um, uh, then it will be plus uh, dive of uh, uh, u prime and uh, this will be uh, the bold uh, uh, component that is uh, prime so so that way whatever we have uh, studied earlier similarly minus of 1 by rho do p uh, by do x and its average that will be again uh, you know it will, it will have the uh, minus of uh, do capital p by do x so that is uh, again mean component will be coming into it so if you substitute uh, uh, you know these uh, values what you see uh, you know uh, in that case these uh, time averaged uh, momentum equations if you uh, substitute into it your equations uh, will become like uh, uh, do of u by do t so uh, you see uh, what happens that you have we have seen uh, these uh, equations here now in this case uh, this uh, u will be do u by do t will be uh, uh, so that that you should do u by do t will be its averaging will be capital do u by do t so that will be seen here so do u by do t is coming now uh, the dive of uh, uh, u u that will be dive of u u plus dive of u prime u prime and uh, you know bar so that that's what you have seen here so from this uh, you know uh, uh, line you can see that in place of the one term you are getting uh, two terms in this case rest of the term comes like this you have minus of 1 by rho do p by do x this uh, p is the mean pressure term coming uh, here and then you have the term nu of dive of grad u again u this 
uh, term is coming. So, this is the x momentum equation uh, which is coming basically uh, when you are doing this uh, time averaging and in that uh, you know uh, you see that you have otherwise if you uh, look at uh, uh, these equations. So, what you see it has also it has 4 terms these 4 terms are similar to uh, it has some uh, similarity these 4 terms however, you have one extra term. So, that is there in all these cases now what is uh, this. So, this basically term u prime uh, u prime uh, this is basically the extra term which is coming this is the uh, stress component that is uh, uh, because of the uh, turbulence the fluctuating component and this is the turbulent shear stress which is you know uh, coming into picture. Now, how if you if you try to you know uh, if you try to uh, expand it. So, uh, it will be uh, you know uh, and if you try to have the uh, uh, generalization. Uh, so, what we do normally that we keep these terms on this side and we take these terms on the uh, you know on the other side. So, what happens this will be uh, negative terms. So, what we do we take uh, the uh, plus terms and we take the negative sign. So, uh, what we do uh, normally because uh, it is the um, you know these uh, components. So, as we discussed that this is the uh, you know additional uh, term which is coming because of the turbulent uh, fluctuation uh, I mean uh, fluctuation component and uh, this is because of this stress component. So, what we do you know, customarily we try to shift it towards the uh, right hand side and if you try to uh, put the, them towards the right hand side. So, you will have dou u by dou t plus dive of u u u it will be equal to minus of 1 by rho dou p by dou x plus nu dive grad u and minus of dive of u prime u prime. Now, uh, if you uh, find u prime will be uh, so you will have uh, the u prime v prime and w prime component here and then you are getting the uh, uh, dive part of it. So, you will have uh, u prime u prime square plus u prime v prime plus u prime w prime and then we are getting the dive of it. So, dou by dou x plus dou by dou y plus dou by dou z will be uh, coming. So, if you uh, try to write you know uh, if you take these uh, uh, turbulent stresses on the right hand side then your equation becomes like uh, dou u by dou t. So, that will be the first term second term uh, is as usual. So, you have dive of u and this will be the bold u. So, uh, uh, that will be uh, you know uh, so you will have uh, the this is the bold part. So, uh, then that will be uh, the uh, again 1 by rho uh, dou of capital P by dou x again uh, mean uh, pressure has come here. Uh, then you have nu of dive of uh, you know uh, grad u. So, that is uh, you know uh, coming uh, further and uh, then uh, we have the another term uh, that is uh, 1 by rho of uh, now this is uh, your uh, component which will be you are taking the dive of those components. So, that will be uh, dou of minus of rho you know u prime square by dou x similarly uh, dou of minus of rho u prime v prime by dou y plus uh, dou of uh, minus of rho u prime w prime by dou z. So, this basically uh, these terminologies will come if you try to uh, expand it. So, because this u prime will be uh, u prime plus v prime plus w prime this uh, bold u. So, that will be uh, you know uh, u prime plus v prime plus w prime. So, it will have u prime u prime so u prime square and then uh, you know u prime v prime plus u prime w prime all the averaging uh, will be done and it is dive. So, it will we will have dou by dou x plus dou by dou y plus dou by dou z. So, that will be uh, coming. So, that is what you are getting uh, these three terminologies which is coming on the right hand side. And this is basically the you know this is because of these uh, turbulent shear stresses. So, if you have uh, the uh, you know uh, further if you try to uh, write these equations. So, you will have 
for the uh, v momentum you will have dou v by dou t plus dive of v you know uh, u. So, you will have v u. So, this is u is uh, bold and that will be minus of 1 by rho dou p by dou y and then you have new dive of uh, you know uh, grad v. So, uh, and then you will have again 1 by rho and uh, now this time you will have uh, you know um, dou of minus rho uh, u prime v prime by dou x plus dou of minus rho v prime square. So, that will be again uh, here and by dou y plus uh, dou of minus rho uh, you know v prime w prime by dou z. So, that will be uh, you know coming. So, this way you will have three you know equations these uh, you know these extra stresses uh, these terminologies which we have taken uh, from the left hand side towards the right hand side your equation you know uh, becomes like this. So, you will have uh, dou w by uh, dou t plus dive of w u. So, uh, that will be minus of 1 by rho uh, dou p by dou z plus nu of dive of uh, grad you know w and uh, then you will have plus 1 by rho and then this time you will have uh, uh, dou of uh, minus rho u prime w prime. So, that will be uh, uh, coming now by dou x plus dou of minus rho uh, you know v prime w prime and, and, and its uh, average part also uh, and that will be divided by uh, you know dou y plus dou of minus rho w prime square and uh, uh, that will be divided by dou z. So, that is uh, this way uh, you are getting uh, these uh, the same equations, but then uh, this uh, once you expand it and take towards the right hand side because all these stresses we are taking on the right hand side. So, that will give you these three uh, you know uh, equations. Now, if you look at the um, equations this uh, minus of uh, you know uh, rho uh, this is u u prime this is uh, basically u prime uh, square. Now, uh, this uh, uh, minus of rho u prime square. Uh, so, this is basically tau x x. Similarly, minus of rho u prime v prime it will be tau x y. So, uh, you know uh, the so, so, because of that so, so that is why we can write tau x x that we write as minus of uh, rho and u prime square. So, that is your uh, you know this is the uh, turbulent stresses for that you have. So, the, and then you have tau x y this will be minus of rho u prime v prime. Similarly, you have uh, you know tau x y is tau um, y x and uh, similarly tau y y will be uh, minus of rho v prime square uh, averaging of that and uh, tau z z will be actually minus of rho w prime square. So, that way and, and you have tau x y similarly. So, that will be same as tau y x similarly tau y z uh, will be minus of rho uh, you know uh, v prime w prime actually v prime w prime. So, that will be tau z y and uh, similarly tau x z will be minus of rho u prime w prime and uh, that will be you know tau z x. So, so this way these stresses term are uh, you know appearing uh, on the right hand side and uh, these are known as the Reynolds average and uh, Navier Stroke equations. Now, if you uh, try to find uh, you know the uh, you know for uh, any extra turbulent term uh, you know which will be because of the uh, transportation of uh, certain scalar quantity like temperature or so. So, in those cases you will have the uh, time average transport equation. So, for you know that any scalar quantity transport scalar quantity you know psi. So, uh, for uh, any this uh, of the transport scalar quantity psi you will have these uh, time averaging equations. So, you will have the mean part 
of it will be dou phi by dou t that will be uh, mean part f phi plus psi you know uh, uh, prime. So, that we have discussed that will be this plus dive of you know um, phi and, and you will have uh, the uh, u that is uh, bold one. So, the convective term then that will be again minus 1 by rho and dive of uh, you know tau phi. So, this is uh, and, and this is uh, grad you know of the uh, mean part and plus you will have uh, minus of dou of u prime uh, phi prime. So, by uh, dou x similarly uh, v prime uh, phi prime by uh, dou y uh, and then w prime phi prime by dou z. So, this way you will have uh, you know the uh, transport equation for any scalar uh, normally we will have the temp uh, equation for the temperature or any other uh, quantity when uh, we have. So, we normally have uh, these equations also this is uh, so this is uh, what you get normally uh, you know this is the extra term which you are uh, you know uh, uh, getting. So, uh, these are the uh, uh, equations this is known as uh, the Reynolds average navier stroke equations because we are doing the averaging and we are taking that fluctuating part into component and this will be used while uh, we try to study or, or try to model the you know uh, turbulent equations uh, you know or turbulent flows. So, that we will see in our uh, coming lectures. Thank you very much.